I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel. Well, it's the 24th of December 2019 and today we've been all over the place. All the lads got it wrong, the meeting point, the time. So we all set off in different directions and guess what? Somehow we all met up without even texting each other. It was amazing. Anyway, we ended up in Upper Mill near Saddleworth. And it all started a few hours ago, just down the road. Well, I think I've missed the boat today. I think the lads have gone. I got here about three minutes later than I should have been. They said 9.50 and it's approaching 25 past now. Someone's coming. I can see some flashing lights. Oh, he's not one of ours. So this looked like a ride for one today, so I decided to set off to the local hills and one of the things that I had in mind was to film some potholes, like you do. This is a classic example of a really bad pothole, so when you're cycling keep an eye out for them because they'll give you punctures or you might go flying. And so on the next scene I cycled further down the road just to get a shot going round Jubilee Bends. Again, at this point, I'm on my own, I'm thinking, okay, let's make it up as we go along, because I'm not going to be holding anybody up. This is what you call faffing about, but I love it. So here I am now, just coming back to get the camera, but look over my shoulder, I can see a bike light. So anyway, it turned out to be Carl. Yeah, he was going out to meet the guys, and the times had all been rearranged, and we were all over the place. None of us knew what was actually going on. And it was just a stroke of luck that we were passing at this point. I was filming and he was going to meet the lads. So I guess this is where the video actually really starts. Because we all regrouped and got on with the ride. And I just saw a lad flying up there, so I thought, oh, it's you. It's one of ours. Right. So I flew after him and caught him. With a, oh, sort of, sorry, wrong one and turned <laughs> back round. So having climbed to the summit of the A640, it was time to get on the descent. We filmed this descent many times and it wasn't going to be a quick one today but we managed to cruise at around 40 miles per hour in these conditions. And the next stop will be Wham Lane after Denshaw. What's this lane called? Wham, bam, I think. Pump Tropicana. <laughs> it's called Wham Lane. Baby deer that, isn't it? No, it isn't, no baby. Hey, look at that, there it goes. Right, just getting um, some um, extra layers on here because it's quite wet and miserable. And got... we're out in the lovely countryside and wildlife just hurdled that fence. A deer. Deer. Ooh. It was a roe deer. Eh? While we're on this little back lane, Owen, just talk about that ride the other day in the snow when I met you at the cafe. Well, it started off as a day like today, a bit rainy, then it cleared up and then we added through our normal terrain over through Todmorden over to Ebden and then we did the climb up Crag Vale and we stopped at a cafe called Craggies and then what happened? And then once we sat in Craggies our friend Daz turns up because he's not been too well I'm just glad it's not me out there I've got serious man flu at the moment I am fit for nothing them guys they're getting pummeled and then the heavens opened with snow 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 and the ride back out of the cafe was quite a difficult route back. It looked horrendous. Lee were pushing, so he says, four and a half to five hundred watts because of the wind. It was quite brutal. And same on the descent down Blackstone Edge. So yeah, but it's always good to get out. I'm gonna win, I've got no more SD card left. Oh, but anyway, we're back on these uh, Saddleworth lanes, December the 24th. It's very cold and wet again. To be honest, it's been a wet December. A wet autumn, really. And I suppose now we're just getting used to it. It's normal. Something's gone wrong. 
unless you've got mountain bikes or what they call gravel bikes. Look at that, the road has ended. We've just been talking and not paying attention. You do that, won't you, Steve? Steve's a mountain biker, so that's his territory. Every time we come through Diggle, it always rains. I don't know what it is. There's loads of cafes around here. That's one that I came to the other year. And that's the other cafe that we normally come to, just there. But the one we're going to is this one here. Anyway, little did we know, but Mike was en route as well to this cafe. Hey up, Mike's here. <laughs> so here we are now at the Cafe Grande Abaco in Upper Mill. And what happened next was totally unexpected. Steve got a round of Sambucas in. Cheers. And it wasn't even 12 o'clock. Right, what is this? And it certainly Cheers. warms up the cockles. I'm super friendly. Whoa! Sorry, Have you been on these? I don't think you Oh, my God. Cheers, Steve. Nice little back lane with Upper Mill down below on the right. But yeah, what a cracking little back lane this is. But then it was time for the brutal climb of the Grains Bar Road. This is a tough climb. Well, that were a tough Grains Bar Road climb. Bit of a headwind on there, and we're 23 miles into the ride. It's cold, wet, and miserable again. So whilst we waited for the guys, I had a quick change of clothing to get the beanie back on my face because the cold was really starting to get through. Now here we are on the Buckstones Road descent and today the conditions were quite tough, very wet on the road and you've got to keep your eye out for the grids. Anything like that, potholes, they can have massive consequences for you. So here's Steve just ahead taking on the lead. And I think he knew that I was behind him. And to be honest, I think Steve was up for a bit of a fast descent today. Look at the lines he's taking, they're really nice and smooth. He's reading the road really well, cutting in, almost carving down this road. This bend here is a key bend coming up where the slightest touch of the brakes and you will lose the gap. And here I am now tucked in. Steve's got the gap about 100 meters there. It's impossible to bridge it and especially on this bike. Again, we're moving here. I think I maxed out at around 42 miles per hour, but I really do not recommend you try this at all. It is dangerous, and I must stress, we're not racing, we're just enjoying a good descent. And at these speeds, if something goes wrong, you've had it. Looking at the Chevron marker there on the road, we've got another bend coming ahead and we're approaching a built-up area so the descent just gradually comes to an end and we all regroup at the bottom and as you can see there the route profile today was quite hilly and we climbed over 2490 feet in 31 miles that's where we are based in the united kingdom right in the middle more or less and here's some general mapping data from the ride Anyway, it is winter, so keep training people and get them mince pies down your neck because you know you're going to burn them calories off. So, here's a few clips that never quite made it into the first part of this video. It's cold, wet and miserable again. And that Sambuca, I can feel it, can you Mike? Yeah. It's like EPO. It's not quite as good, Daz. Well, yeah, good point. EPO's good s***. <laughs> Me? Well. Right, yo. I've just met up with Carl and apparently the lads have just set off. I 
I think we've all met at different parts of this ride today, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of confusion. Right, we're on. What's it called? The Buckstone? No. New A Road Descent. What's it called? It's Elm Pit H. Elm. Elm Pit. Elm Pit H. Right, we're on Helm. Can't pronounce H. We're on Helm Pit's head. The A640 to Denshaw. We've filmed this tons of times. Jay's a local lad. There's never a dull moment. Yeah, when he were a lad, he knew this place. There were no trees around here either. We're going to head towards Upper Mill, Car Behind. Upper Mill, Car Behind. And if you're wondering how Owen knew there were a car behind, he's got a Garmin gadget on the back of his bike. And when a car gets near him, it tells his computer something's going on. Okay, we're on a nice little back lane with Upper Mill down below on the right. Oh, hey, up, oh, watch it. <laughs> Shows the wrong point there to try and give you a running commentary. With all this technology and communication is the key, somehow we made it by the old school methods. Just turn up, 